Welcome to Beyond Podcast. I'm your host, Anthony Petralis, and we are super excited for today's guest. I feel like, honestly, the last couple of months we've been having a different ranges of guests on uh, from obviously our athletes and our coaches, but to businesses and obviously people that are doing great things in their community to the youth. We just had a youth episode actually just the other day. So uh, we are really kind of ranging ourselves up and in front of me is a great guy. I've been following this guy on social media. I will say he's given me some great haircuts over the years. I've definitely got a few great haircuts from him, but um, over the last few years i've also followed him and i know he's had a lot of success um and i and i could be wrong and I, it's a lot of different things if you had a great success in as far as um what you do and what we're going to be talking about here today um but this is somebody who you know is a great guy reached out to me is doing something really cool at his gym and we wanted to bring him on here to talk about it because i think um you know we're seeing the rise in gyms like this as we're seeing the rise of all different forms of martial arts and so on and uh i think it's really cool that we have one here in mefford you know my hometown and a guy who's a hometown guy running it. So I'm going to we practice this beforehand, but I could mispronunciate this. So let's I'm going to try my best. But um, from Mao Mao BJJ, um, Bobby McCarran. Welcome to the podcast, ma'am. Thank you. Yeah. So obviously I want to talk is, dude, I, I do follow you on social media. And then I was going to start naming stuff. And I was like, I don't want to say the wrong things and look like an idiot here. So, but I do want to give you your flowers and I do want to give you your platform here for a minute for our audience. Cause we do have a pretty wide audience and I, and I, I want to kind of celebrate your accomplishments where we have a guest on that kind of walk the walk and talk the talk a little bit. We allow them to do that. You have many championships. You've kind of gone nationally, regionally country, everywhere and you've competed and you you've ranked in all sorts of things. What, is like some of the tournaments that you can just tell our audience that you won or rank and, and so on because it's been cool to follow you so um the biggest tournament that i won was pan american championship um in dallas texas for the ibjjf that was a couple of years back i was a world's no gi medalist and at the ibjjf as well um and then i've done all kinds of you know tournaments for the um i've won a bunch of open tournaments for the IBJJF as well. That's the International Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Federation. And I've, you know, I've won a bunch of tournaments locally and, you know, within the New England area, but I've traveled all around the country doing jiu-jitsu. Now, is this something you've kind of done your whole life or is this something you've gone into a later part of life? I mean, I'm, I'm just so curious. So, so when I was younger, I was actually, I started off as a boxer. I boxed at, um, at some of the boxing club. I, um, uh, my coach was was Bobby Cavino, and um, I got into jujitsu probably around 22, 23 years old. Um, you know, growing up, I thought that striking was the end all, be all for for uh, martial arts. You know, it was the king of of martial arts. But I found out that jujitsu was a very um, powerful martial art, and uh, and you didn't have to be so big and strong for the techniques to work. And generally it's a, it's a martial art where a person who is of smaller stature can go up against an untrained opponent and dominate them physically, generally. So my cousin started doing that. Um, they started doing jujitsu. They told me to come by and now uh, these are two of my younger cousins and they used to, and I used to just kick their ass all growing up. Like, <laughs> right. So they brought me into, to bjj and then we started rolling around and they're choking me and they're, you know they put me in submission locks and it's like this ain't right i can't have that so yeah. from there i knew that there was something to jujitsu and i started i started studying jujitsu i had a, a couple amateur mma fights and um but then i ended up having a family and maybe you know uh, I veered off the path a little bit. You know, I wasn't doing exactly what I should have been doing. I wasn't living the the best life. Had you know alcohol problems and and stuff like that. So I got away from jujitsu. And then, you know, later on, about about six years late, six years ago, I I went back to um to Mama's and told him that I needed to get jujitsu back into my life, and it's changed my life since then. I mean, I've seen so many reels on Instagram of like guys who talk about like fighting, whether it's martial arts or wrestles, guys that are just mixed martial arts that are learning many traits. And they always like say, like, learn jujitsu, like, take care of yourself, eat right, like, get good sleep. But like, every person mentions that specific like fighting form. And right. I find that so interesting to hear you now say that because that does pop up on my feet a lot. And a lot of guys say that. So, 
there is something to it here in a guy now who's trained it and it's a part of your everyday life that it is like yeah. life altering and life changing. To me, jujitsu jujitsu is king. Not to say that like that alone is is all you would need, but to me it's it's one of the more it's the most dominating uh ground fighting that I think there is. Yeah, it's so interesting. We've started covering wrestling at the high school level, and I mean, we cover like I don't know, two elite wrestlers. I mean, nationally right. ranked like kids, and you know, they talk about they've kind of jumped into different art forms throughout the year of their training of learning different things and training different ways to be so dominant at the high school level. So it's that's all interesting. The fighting world's always so interesting to me. As much as I think I know about, it, I know nothing about it. So it's always good to hear from people that that really do it, and it's cool because I also know. And before we kind of jump into that stuff again, like. Mike Bolger, like someone who we've covered, who we love on here. I mean, whenever yeah. he's doing anything I see on his Instagram, I always message him like, I, if you need anything, let me know. If you need me to make something, cut something, come with me. Like, I'll do it, dude. Like, you know, because I, I, for me, I look at this podcast and I think like you work your way up and, you know, you sat at the bottom somewhere from everybody, right? And, and it's how you work your way up. And I see you, you train him and you're with him and he gives you, he's been on this podcast and he's talked very highly of you. Um, and to where he is today because of you. So um, obviously it affects you affected his life in a great way. Yeah, we was with him this morning. We were training this morning. I'm usually with him about three times a week. Yeah, yeah, good dude. I mean, we love him here. Uh, so but it's one of those things too. It's like you know, he's a kid from Medford. You know, he really could have went uh, on a different path as well. But he's been in martial arts since I believe he was 14 years old. He's also my cousin. So I'm, I introduced him into the arts when he was young like that, and he never left. Yeah. And he's aimed for himself, and he's making a good life for himself as well. He is. I mean, every every match we've gone to or just pay attention on social media, whether it's boxing or or MMA, it's it's a victory, and it's quick. You know? yeah. So it's, it's just interesting. It's pretty special that he can do both, too. I mean, that's got to be so hard. Like, I've said that to myself. Like, man, he can switch like that so easily and yeah. dominate. And, and yeah. Purely dominate. Yeah, what do you think his better is? What do you think his better is? Uh, so, I mean, he's a he's a true martial artist. Yeah. So, I mean, and the thing about mixed martial arts is it's not just one form, and you can put them all together. When he's a guy who's, you know, if he, he can, he actually finished his last MMA fight with a submission, a rear naked choke. So, I mean, he's pretty well rounded. Yeah, I mean, you can yeah. see it. I feel like every fight that I've gone to, he's just like a different level. Than yeah. his opponent, you know, um, it's fun to watch, it's fun to see. Yeah. But jumping into, you know, why we're here, we've thrown this on our social media a little bit. I wanted you to get it here, explain it more, because again, I think anybody who gives back to the community and offers opportunity, like you mentioned, this door could be opening the, you know, opening the door for somebody that this is going to affect their life and be a part of their life for a long time. Like you said, it's done great things for you. Uh, it's great right. that you're kind of giving back. So I know that you guys are doing a giveaway. I'm going to give it no justice here. So I'm going to kind of hand it over to you and give you the opportunity here to talk about what's going on uh, at at your spot a little bit in Mefford rock yep. and roll go for it so a little bit more about like as far as um to me in jujitsu uh, I heard a saying said from a man who's from Medford as well uh, um Mr. Robert Sullivan his father you know Rob Sullivan I you mentioned it before I definitely know the name I'm sure if I saw the face I'd be like oh yeah I know so his father always preached to keep the, the kids in sports and out of courts right so you know sometimes you know, kids get, you know, kids are, you know, get a, get off the path. And then we like to try and get them, you know, as early as we can. We would never turn anybody down, but it's a good opportunity to get your kids into something that they have to be disciplined at. They have to show up on time and they're going to be learning a skill that can help them on the mat and off the mat as far as is um, perseverance goes, discipline goes and physical shape. You get into, you get into great shape when you're doing jujitsu. So, where we've been working with uh, the DEA Educational Foundation and Rockland Recovery, uh, also known as Ro uh, Rockland Recovery Group, I yep. believe. Now. But um, so they made a big donation and now we're able to do these these programs, you know, seasonally. We just did one over the summer. We're starting one now here, like going into the, the fall and winter months where we offer two weeks uh, two week camp, you know, five days, five days out of the week. And then the next week, another five days for free. And the kids receive uh, a free uniform. That's so it's great. Them to get their, their feet in the door. 
And that's awesome. And so how do you go about, I know we kind of posted on our social media and we'll continue to do that for you, yep. but for everybody who's listening out there that kind of wants to pass the word around, what's the best way of kind of like signing up for this register is getting that opportunity. So you can, you can uh, message me. I'll put some, I'll put stuff into the story and I'll probably add it into my link, my link tree. Um, and as well, you'll be posting um, the link for that. You can just go on, uh, go on the link, fill, fill out the information and you'll be all set. All right, cool. So yeah, whatever you post, obviously throw on our page. Is yep. there a page for the for the um for your spot, or is it more just you personally? Your your so my, handle. Oh, so for the gym. Yeah. Yes, it's Mau Mau BJJ Academy. All right, cool. I have to reach check that, but all if right, you just I'll type- put that in my story. I'll put that in my story once we find it and just kind of throw it out there with that with that link again for you. Uh, but this is a great opportunity. I mean, and for you, I mean, talk about your spot a little bit. Where is it located in Medford? I know you sent me the address. I'm just thinking off the top of my head here a little bit. So it's ten eleven Fellsway. So if you're heading north on twenty eight after you pass the target, there'll be a little there'll be a little building. Um, to the side, it used to be Mystic Bus Transportation. I believe they still have trucks in there, but you'll see it on the right. It's right after, right after you pass um, BJ's, and that's uh, it's Mama BJJ. Okay, perfect. Yep. All right, that's great. I mean, that's awesome. We'll obviously pop by there. Uh, and when does this go to? When when's the uh, kind of deadline for this? So October fourteenth is the first. So it's going to be that week, and then the following week. So five days each week, two weeks. All right. Sounds perfect. Whatever day is, I can't think of it off the top of my head. Maybe I should have been better prepared, but no, just- it's all right. It's all right. You know, it's funny. I wrote all this stuff down and I've like knocked like two things over and I'm like, I can't even bend down to like pick <laughs> up what I wrote. So I just, I was like, ah, I remember you, the, the, I remember the address, but like, can you just say like, cause I had it, but it's gone. I mean, it's, to, it's between Riverside Ave and Salem street. Yeah, yeah, exactly. In Mefford, um, and perfect. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so and and, and again, um, October fourteenth deadline to register for this, and we'll be throwing this on our in story. We'll throw this on our story, uh, yep. you know, every couple of days or every other day, and kind of just reminding people. I have a cool video that I'll be posting in their spot cool. just to kind of see what's going on in there as well. So when I post that video on the story, I'll actually attach the link to it. Uh, so it'll be kind of like a two for one, but uh, I'm glad we had you on here. And I mean this, I have been following you. You know, I know we don't know each other personally. We've met each other a few times. I know we have mutual friends and that I've met you through the barbershop and everything else, but I'm really glad to see how well you've been doing with this. And it's really cool to kind of see people, you know, from effort who are having great success, um, you know, in, in a different world and a passionate world there. So uh, the best of luck to you, man. I really mean that. And any way we can help you going forward, just don't hesitate to reach out. Appreciate that. Thank you for let, having me on. Yeah, absolutely. So, guys, I'm your host, Anthony Petralis. Uh, this weekend, we got some a couple fun things coming up. Uh, Friday, we're going to be emceeing a, a recreation event in Medford, uh, a decathlon type event, uh, competing in all sorts of things in Hormel Stadium. I anticipate a huge crowd. I'm going to get these kids revved up. We'll see who wins the gold. And then Saturday, we're going to be a part of Oktoberfest, which we're super fun. Uh, we're going to be hosting. We're going to be walking around and 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 entertaining everybody. So we're excited. But, Bobby, thank you for coming on here. Uh, I'm your host, Anthony Petralis, guys. Till next time.